Hi guys, I'm John Carlo from Torches International and we're back again this time today with Brynite. I'm holding a Brynite PT18 Oathkeeper with me. This one's the second version. I already did the first version review of this light a while back so right now I'm going to do a comparison between the first version and the second version so come check this out. Okay, so now let's proceed to unboxing of this Brynite PT-18 Oathkeeper 2nd version. So it comes in this uh, blue retail packaging, blue and orange. As you can see in the side, you have some information on the light. And also at the back, some manufacturer specifications and product features. Uh, the box, unfortunately, came like this. However, of course, no um, visible problems with the light. And this light, wow. Okay, this packaging from Brynite, it comes in this uh, black cardboard box. And opening this package, I shit you not, it's like opening a thousand dollar phone. It's very, very well packaged and premium as you can see see that and also we have a personalized card from mr carson wang shout out to mr carson wang you have very very good staff especially kitty q you should promote her by now <laughs> she's very hard working and nice so you can see the product card here even though a warranty card and we have this cute keychain see that very nice and very premium look at that see see how well it's packaged i told you it's like opening a thousand dollar phone phone sorry about that okay first let's take out the light and this light ladies and gentlemen is customized for me so you can see there see there you can have your name laser laser printed so this is the sand version the first one I had the black one so let's see the accessories okay we have the holster over here so you can see premium quality see there and this holster is rotary it has a 360 degree rotation this is the rubber ring let me take all of this out first okay we have this camo lanyard matches the PT-18 as you can see there very nice quality we have <clears throat> excuse me this type C uh, fast charging cable and as I mentioned this is the rubber ring which you can use to replace this uh, tactical ring if you choose not to use this um, because others might consider it bulky so you can go ahead and remove that and replace it with this so it's covered like that i will show it uh, on the pictures of my review so let's um start off oh before i forget let's take out the battery first even the battery has its own box see there it's an IMR 18650, 3100 milliampere per hour battery, 3.6 volts for maximum performance. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the bezel. So the bezel is black and is also removable. You can see there the powerful LED, of course. And we have some scallop. Um, what do you call this scallop ribbing 
this helps with the heat dissipation and as well as grip you can see there the PT18 and the LED side switch and the head is attached to the barrel as you can see there and this is the Bright logo if you notice see that that's it okay let's open up the light and put in the battery there is a <clears throat> double spring instead of a contact plate as you can see there and for the tail we also have this uh, double gold plated spring make sure the battery is positive side on the head just close it up see the scallop knurling on the tail matches the head pretty cool we have this um, lanyard um, hole and the two side uh, I'm sorry two um, tail switches the main one and this one's for the strobe so we can see the LED screen so we have full power turn on the light of course you can press it via the side switch <clears throat> press and hold to turn it off or you can use the tail switch press it and this one's for turbo so strobe warning see that's turbo and to cycle through the modes um, let's go to the side switch first of course you turn it on and just click to cycle through the modes turbo is of course 2000 lumens rated and if you double click it will go to strobe double click again for SOS and one click to go to the previously selected mode which in this case is low click and hold to turn it off and there is also an electronic lockout feature for this light just like the first version all you have to do is triple click it okay so it will be um, signaled by flashes of light as you can see it's already locked however if you go to the tail switch if it's electronically locked you can still open it through the tail switch that's why you have to do a mechanical unlock and lock you just need to turn the tails tail cap so there the light is now completely locked now let's proceed to the operation of the tail switch all you have to do is press the main switch and then you can cycle through the modes using the secondary tail switch as you can see there and also to turn it off use the main tail switch there is also a momentary turbo you can have press this tail switch as you can see there pretty awesome same um, UI as the first version of this light which I have here with me this is the first version of the PT-18 Oathkeeper this one has been with me for about a year now I've been using it every day so you can see some clear signs of usage never has this light failed me and as you can see there it has the same output as the second version 2000 lumens and same operation so this is how it looks like together same length same everything same LEDs okay so that's pretty much it why don't we go outside and do some uh, comparison beam shots of these two lights hang on a bit hi guys so we're here outside to do some comparison beam shots for the two Brightnight PT-18 Oath Keepers, the first and second version. And right now, I'm going to do the second version, the newest one, for the Brightnight PT-18 Oath Keeper. We are starting off at the lowest mode, as you can see here. 
you can see the bushes in front of me which is about 20 feet away and that tree you can barely see which is 150 feet away from where I am now let's ramp up to the next mode right as you can see there you can see the tree a bit this one's on uh, medium and that farther tree from where I'm standing is about 180 feet ramping up to high <clears throat> you can clearly see the whole yard excuse me from all across there uh, the far tree is about 400 feet you can see a quite tight hot spot and the tint is cool white we have some usable spill as well as you can see there so it's not all throw that's what I love about this PT-18 and that's why everyone has been raving about this light. Okay, now let's jump up to turbo. Okay, that's 2000 lumens turbo. Wow. Uh, there is some moisture in the air because the weather right now is terrible. I think there is a storm coming in again or... Um, it's the rainy season now so yeah this tree is about 180 feet from where I'm standing and this one's 150 feet the farther tree there is 400 feet okay so let me put down this tripod and I will get the first version of the PT-18 so you can uh, so we can compare all right so um this light to my right is on low mode this is the um second version of the pt-18 hang on there and this light to my left this is the first version of the pt-18 there sorry about that hang on let me fix that real quick there you go so this is the second uh, this is the second on the right and this is the first one on the left they are both in low mode and now let's ramp up to medium and let me focus on the farther tree so you can guys you can uh, clearly see the difference so this is on medium this is the first version and this is the second version see first and second uh, quite barely unnoticeable now let's ramp up to high the right one is the second and first the second version is no noticeably um, brighter than the first I'm not sure if the camera can capture that but to the naked eye it is see now to turbo again this is the first and this is the second one side by side there <coughs> excuse me so if we pan here you can still see the farther tree this is the first version and the second one okay how about we go down the street so you guys can compare the beam pattern as well as the throw it's almost 1 a.m. here so pretty quiet <clears throat> excuse me okay so there are the two beams Okay, the one on the right is the second, and the one on the left is the first. Ramping up to medium. And then high. 
and then turbo there it is not that noticeable on the camera but in person it appears to be brighter the second version okay let me get in a bit closer okay there's a car approaching let me go to the side real quick okay so it's always the second version on the right okay there you go now let's jump up medium and then high then turbo hang on a bit and we're back sorry about that the car passed in front of me okay now so this is on turbo this the one on the right you can see is the second version there you go very good throw on this light 2000 lumens and there is a bit of a hot spot and of course some usable spill all right so that's pretty much it for the comparison of the beam shots let's head back inside so guys i hope you enjoyed watching the comparison video between the second version and the first version of the bright night pt18 oath keeper if you did please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel you can also put down in the comments what you would like Brian Knight to uh, know regarding the slides maybe they can improve for future releases or probably any suggestions you might have so um, also please check us out in our Facebook group it's called Torches International we are flashaholics and flashlight fans I will leave links in the description down below also, don't forget to check out Brian Knight's page at Facebook. Uh, it's called Brian Knight Fans as well as Brian Knight Philippines. So come check us out. Always remember, two is one, one is none. Light on, brothers.